Despite the travel advisories leading up to Thanksgiving, passengers we spoke with at the Colorado Springs Airport say they never reconsidered their plans. We're from Seattle. We were here visiting the grandchildren, uh, but we're going back to Seattle because we have our, Chris, our Thanksgiving slash Christmas traditions. <laughs> We've already had COVID, so we feel we're somewhat immune to it. This family of five is headed to California and changed their minds at the last minute about staying home for the holiday. We bought the tickets two nights ago. Yeah. So in 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 you know we'd looked we'd looked a few weeks ago the 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 tickets were a bit pricey and actually last minute they were a lot better. We were getting a little cabin fever and decided it was time to get out. Airport officials say the number of passengers this week has increased, but not by as much as they expected. So we won't have our exact numbers until next month. Though the airlines had pushed about a 15% increase in seat capacity during the peak days over the holidays, though we are seeing bookings about anywhere from about 70 to 85%. Travelers tell us they're not worried about planes being too full and trust the airlines to keep passengers masked and socially distant. The Colorado Springs Airport promoting itself as a small airport definitely comes in handy, not just during the busier holiday season, but even on an average day when around 1,300 people fly out of here compared to 50,000 at Denver International Airport. And all of that, at least for Southern Coloradans, should help ease some of the reluctance to flying that we've seen during the pandemic. And these flyers insist that once they reach their destinations, they'll follow the recommendations to have smaller gatherings, a different and more creative Thanksgiving. In Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.